This is the uh, partial construction of the right aid manager's chair. Kind of hard to see because it's basically. There has been on a dark surface. Okay. Now basically, this is the steps that I got to. This is a picture of the final product. So, what we have there is a finished product. Over here is the last piece to be installed. And everything was going pretty well. Up until that point, as you will. I may have discovered something. A little bit accidentally. That might make the install go a little easier. Here are the instructions. Which for instructions are actually pretty good. This is a model one one two two five two seven eight. Manager's chair, manager's chair for household use only. It says important da, 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 da. Read all instructions before use. I did. This is the parts list. Here are the assembly instructions. Page four is where we really start. Step one. I think these instructions are pretty good. You first as it says, put part A, the casters, uh, on the uh, and the gas lift, part C, onto the base, part C. So as these parts over here are, you put these and this together with that. And that's what they call part step one. So they have really basically five steps. Then we go to step two. Attach the seat plate, which was E, the whole thing here, uh, to this to the seat, which your entire thing is G. And then you install these small boats, I, to that. Then you just Put it on top. The interesting thing that I found is once I put it on top, I don't seem to be able to lift it off. I'm not worried about that right now. There's this lever here, or this dial or knob, that you can turn. I've turned it a few times. Maybe it's kind of locking in place, I don't know. But this is an interesting step. Step three, attach, finish step two which is above, to step one. I mean, you attach step two to step one, and that's basically step three, which I like that. And then it comes to step four, and I've done that in my example over there, and it says to semi-tighten. That means you don't make it really all tight, and that's a good thing how they worded that. Attach back so on and so and so. F and to finish the frame. Um, attach back cushion to using this and this here step has now this is where I got a little bit in a problem. Now they do hold show the heat type hilt adjustment and tilt lock lever. 
This is a hilt and tilt lock lever. It's a height adjustment and tilt. It does have a lock, space lock, but they give no expect height adjustment, so on. And, you know, they give no explanation for this little knob. I'll have to maybe call the 800 number or send an email to the people there. So anyway, let's see how that works. Okay, the problem I'm having now is when I want to attach the... See, I was making the height, the right height, so I could put the back cover here and have it so that I could then put the side uh, things in. That wasn't working very well. So, what I have found is that, kind of by accident, is that if I go over here and I'll show you what I'm thinking, is that I don't know if it was partly from design. If it was, it would have been a good design in idea for the construction of this thing. I'll show you on this side, I guess. And the lighting is um, pretty good. Now over here, and the reason I'm going to start on this side, because I've got several sides messed up, if you can see, well, this is annoying. You better have it over here like this. If you can see, Right here, over there, the backdrop will be this. Maybe that. See on the side here that I think this here, if I move it just right over there, it will be almost lined up. And it almost is. So then, instead of trying to stagger it, I'm going to put this side on, that side on, and then lift it up. So we'll see how that works. So now I'm going to have to put it on pause. Or maybe stop. Well, it appears that I have gotten that put in. So now I'm going to go around the other side and do the same over here. See, that's the one I started to try when I was up here and leaning on the piano bench. Over here, I was trying to do it. This one, I was kind of getting this part here. You can't see very well because everything's so black. It's the zippers. Now, I don't know why, but I unzipped it to look inside. This is the only thing that has zippers. Now there's a part down here. It's all heat treated in, so you can't really remove or replace the cover. At least I don't see. Anyway, I think I now should be able to go from this side here, go right through, and then when I align it by moving it over this way, I'll put it on this side. So we'll pause it for now like that. Okay. Now as you can see it's all in there. And that's in there tight too. See the instruction said not to make, make these be semi-loose. So this would be loose enough for this to fit inside. Now it would have been great if their instructions, if they had said to do something like this. To lay it flat right on there since it told you to assemble just like this. It's said to have a nice soft area uh, to assemble it on. Well, if I had carpeting, I guess I could have turned it on the side and maybe, you know, gotten it the way it was shown in that picture over there. But this is the way, and that's why I'm making this video to upload to YouTube, uh, the way to construct this project. Now, the instructions are written very efficiently, that they don't use up too many pages. If they had done this here as an extra step, I don't know. Yeah, 
maybe it's the same difference. If you're smart enough, you could probably figure that out. So I guess I'm going to put it on pause again. I'll proceed with these. Of course, I'll be doing this, as you can probably see. Holding on to this with my feet. Slipping up like this. Which is there. <coughs> now, this is a continuation of the video where I finally have all four. This is the last one to put on. Not very easy to see it. I was using this temporarily as a kind of bright light. It was uh, putting at various places as a spotlight and such. Kind of handy. I got it at the um, value convenience store. Uh, normally twenty dollars is only ten. What I'm working on is the last screw. And I got all these in. I'm kind of tightening them. As I showed you before, I laid it flat. This here put in those two on the opposite sides. But I was having problems with one of the screws in putting it in, and I didn't want to uh, ruin it. What was happening is uh, it was going in and it was dog ear and it was being stripped the threads on the screw. That reminds me, I also want to get a tap and die set at the Home Depot. But anyway, this is the finishing phases, as you can see. Put my spotlight over here. So there is the last one. But pulling it flat on the seat and installing this first makes it so much easier as, as, as a procedure. Uh, but the way they have the picture, you see, and it's the efficiency of the picture, which is great. No harm, no, no harm to enter that. We now say, as the final, assemble this to that. Now, it doesn't break down how one would do that. But it was quite amazing in a way. And maybe it was intended that way that this bolt and this being flat on top of it lined up pretty well really so uh some people go they start from the top and they work to the bottom in this case working from the bottom to the top was a better procedure easier way to do it so i'll put it on pause again now uh, this is again, I had to start it up. I guess as a timer, you can put it on pause, but for only so many seconds. I have now completed the tightening, hand tightening these using the lever at this most mechanical advantage, tightness. When I first put them in, I was using this because uh, this is an easy way to spin it with your fingers when it's very loose. And then I tightened them each of them with this tightness using the least mechanical advantage. Then all of them, after I got that, then I just made them hand tight this way. I don't know how much torque that is, but you know, it moves. And this one doesn't really move. This one here still seems to move. So it's not as tight as it should be. I'm just guessing. So I'll go a few more turns. Mm, that seems pretty good. Now over here, as my spotlight is on the scene of the action, this one here, now that can go up a few times too. 
There we go. Anyway, it's tight. So that I can go a few more. That's easy. I'll go one more in. We'll see what that does. Now that's still easy. So then, let's see one more time. Or two, I don't know. Mm. There we go. I'm... Okay. Mm. Here we go. I'm pretty sure it should go off. It's not pulling the thing through. I'm expecting you to get tight, you know. You don't want it to be loose. This is how tight up here. You see, that's tight. And that's almost tight. Excuse me. Do you know that? Is the hand tightness. Now that's tight. And this one over here, the last one. You can see these on the seat were said in the instructions to semi tight. Now this one, yeah, that's about it. They all have the same tension. So now the only thing to finish it is to put these uh, little lever things on. Cap cover things. There are eight of these. So I'll just put a few of them on. And these, these directions. Well, I'll go over here. These are just little pieces of plastic. I got five of them. So I should be able to do the entire side. Now, as I suspected, you not be able to see. There are parts of it that have. Well, the parts that are wider than the other, around the edges. Now, you don't really need to glue them in. You just come up here, I guess this is a good angle for this. And you just kind of press it in. Try to press. Do the video and everything the same. Now I'll kind of come down to this one. And it's a little bit lower. Remember how I was saying in the construction of it, uh, going from the bottom to the top is easier. In this case, maybe it is. So anyway, I guess I'll put it on pause. Now, I've got all four of them in. From here to there. Up to here. This one's a little bit crooked or something like that. However, it's Home Depot. I got this. It is a uh, dead dead. A dead head resisted. Resist a. I think the middle one says dead dead. Maybe the one at the top is one language and the other one is maybe a third language. Anyway, this I can <coughs> hammer them in and it's just a rubber mallet. Do something that would turn. And 
it. Working quite good. I don't think they're going to come out anytime soon. If I need to, I guess I can use a screwdriver. As I said, if I need to disassemble them. So here's the over here. Here we have this one here. It goes easily in two. I hope so. Alright, equally. Here we go, now I can hit this one. Yeah, it's weird. So I'll put it on pause again. Okay, now I'm back. I got the other three put in. And this one here seems to be well placed. For all the way it'll go in. And that one too. And this one up here. And there we go. And there's the finished product. So anyway, it's pretty neat. So, as I said before, I don't know what that thing is for. It's the adjustment sort I have and the adjustment on the other one. It's been so long, sometimes there will be a few tilt. You see. Mm. And that might be the lever you can tilt with. You don't have to tell it, but I think you tighten it up. Let's see. I really don't know. But this is the part you go up and then. And it says something, you remove the weight and it uh, comes up. That's not really true, though. You have to... Oh, maybe that's what this lever is for. Well, it's now not coming up. No, I'm not. I wasn't really coming up. Oh well, that's a vibe. 